with my hair. I hated it. Time meeting and then do my makeup. Let's see. And I'm so excited because yo. And then ooh, my lip primer. The girls is on a new journey. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, girl, I'm back in Houston. That was crazy. That was quick. If you were here last year, then you know that I went to Women Evolve last year and I stayed the whole entire time. This time, that was the plan because we got the tickets last year walking out of the stadium because they had just launched the dates and we wanted to get in the inner circle. And I'll be honest, inner circle wasn't that spectacular. You're still on the floor because there's preferred level. So there's friend level, you're in the, in the bleachers. No assigned seating, you just come early or whenever you get there, you find a seat. And then they have preferred, which you're on the floor and there's a section where the preferred level goes then there's inner circle also on the floor but a little bit closer but i'll be honest it wasn't that far from where we sat last time so preferred an inner circle i don't know what the price difference was but it wasn't worth it in my opinion the only thing well okay 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 i did leave today i don't know what was different about today for inner circle but what what i got to go to was wednesday there was a q a that we went to but the q a wasn't as intimate as i thought it would be there were probably a thousand people in the room it was a huge ballroom and there were two lines of people asking questions. I mean, it was nice, but it just wasn't, it didn't warrant going a day early to go to the inner circle. So this year it was Wednesday to Saturday afternoon, as opposed to last year, it was Thursday evening until Saturday afternoon. So yeah, last year it did seem jam packed, but even yesterday, Thursday felt jam packed. I mean, there was a break in between, but when you're there from the morning and then all the way to the evening, you're just like, what? It's you're mad tired, but it was really good. We were talking about how the differences what the differences were last year what we liked versus this year we loved how in the beginning that thursday night was it felt like a concert it was just powerful it was fun it was great to me it was a great way to start off the conference versus this year in the morning it started off mid it was it wasn't as powerful strong vivacious as last year it just wasn't there were two sessions then a four hour break and then three sessions in the evening and by that time we were just tired but it was still good i mean dr nita phillips her session was good priscilla shire in the morning hers was good i mean it was just good but it's just after a while it's like yeah i'm freaking tired so it was great i had to come home early because i do lunch dates with my baby he's a but i can still call him a baby every week and we had a lunch date at his school today and i wanted to be there so i came early and my flight was at 6 a.m. I slept at midnight yesterday because we were talking, talking, talking. Oh my goodness. And I got up at four because I needed to leave the hotel by 5.30, but it ended up being six and that was fine. And I didn't realize I was so close to the airport. I, I was in a daze from the airport to the hotel. And I'll get to the hotel in a second. So, and my hair's up because I'm just tired. So, got to the airport really early. It was empty in there. Look at my scalp. It was empty in there, and I was I had an hour and something to kill. So I was just doing some work, watching some videos, and it was what it was. The hotel we booked it last year because everything around the Globe Life Center fills up quickly, and I could have sworn last year I thought that that hotel was decent. I stuck with Marriott because I have a Marriott Bonvoy. It makes sense. Get the points. I hated it. You can hear people, the water running through the walls when people flush the toilet. Whenever the AC is on, you hear it. I mean, I couldn't sleep well. I could hear the AC on. What is going on? It was very, it was giving three star hotel. And I don't even remember the details because again, this was booked last year. It was paid for everything. So when we got there, I was just like, wait, what kind of raggedy place is this? And Everything close by is raggedy, except the Lowe's Hotel, which I don't remember how much it was, but it was, I mean, probably $600 a night. And after two trips already, Fashion Week out to KCON, that wasn't in the budget. And I already paid for this last year, literally. So it was already a paid thing, you know? There's no refund on when you bought something a year ago. Yo, that, that hotel was terrible. That hotel was freaking terrible. Four points, no. Last year we stayed at, I can't remember, home home something i think it was also a marriott it wasn't the best but it was better than this one it was better than, than, than this one we were at today or whatever it was it was horrific but she said that they announced that 2025 will be in atlanta so that's nice a, a different scenery because the past few years has been 
Dallas. I don't like the hotels. It's just just nonsense. It's a powerful, powerful conference. Powerful. Just be ready to cry. Be ready to bond. Be ready to have fun. It's just so good. I recommend anyone to go for sure. Just get ready to be tired too. <laughs> get ready to be freaking tired. But also get ready to be charged up, fired up, just moved in the spirit. All of that too. It's really great. So I'm home and although I want to go and do something, I'm tired. I've been up since four. I slept four hours. It's now 5.17. So 12 hours in, I'm done. Once it's 12 hours, I'm tired. And then I was in the carpool line. I picked my nails off because I had done my nails early Wednesday morning. And I did the pink ones, which are longer than the stiletto ones so those are coffin nails they're longer and they're thicker well it was also dark when i was doing my nails it wasn't as well lit so the gel it was all on the sides more than it needed to be so it cured that way and you could just see the gel over my nail it just looked crazy okay but i had to go and i didn't have time so obviously i, I kept my nails on and i was in the carpool line and i picked them off and thankfully yeah i mean my nails don't look fantastic right now but they didn't hurt coming off they did not hurt coming off. I always put a nail hardener on my nail before I do them. So picking them off is not, a, it doesn't hurt. And this was what, two days? <laughs> I picked them off. They didn't fall off. I picked them off and they came off easily. So that's what happened. I'm gonna redo my nails. And then I was reminded, oh, oh, another thing too. I was so nervous about this lace front. Well, it's five by five because this is my second time doing it. And last time I didn't feel an issue with it even though i was sweating a lot outside at lk con this time however because i think it's on the side i don't know if that has something to do with it but i felt like my lace was slipping i feel like i felt like it was getting loose and i was nervous and i had my fan thank god i had my fan in the globe life so i was fanning myself constantly but i was like yo is my lace moving i was like oh my god this was a bad idea it didn't dawn on me like yo the worship i'd be sweating i'd be moving you know what's gonna happen but it's on it's not moving yeah it's on but i kept checking it i kept checking it i was so i was so done but i don't know where this this extra glue came from i don't even recall that being there but yeah anyway and then the hair just it was hot so i, I just kept moving it around and I, I thought to myself why did i do long because i enjoyed that short hair the short bob was just a thing because off of the neck off of the face was a vibe I don't know how this happened, but I see some glue right here. <laughs> I'm picking it up. I'm all close. Okay, so this lace, I'm getting used to this whole lace thing, right? And, girl, my, I, need to, I need to oil my scalp. <laughs> I'm getting used to this whole lace thing. Not having nails and trying to scratch your scalp, it doesn't work. We think that the, we meeting me and the hairstylist, Dewana, we think that the wig cap was too small because even though we've unbuckled the bra strap and the, and the sew down is not tight, it's not, it was, it's, it's loose, it's not tight. But for some reason, it's pulling my head, my hairline up. And if you wear, if you glue down your wigs, comment and let me know, has that ever happened to you? I mean, I'm just like, wait, what's going on? So I just said, you know what, let's just go with it because I was leaving the next day, I needed my hair done, hello? But I'm like, no, we gotta, we gotta change this because it's feeling too, I don't like the pull thing. And then, like I said, I was just so nervous sweating that this was gonna lift up and this is what, this is what it, might, it must be. It must be because this closure is bigger because my other closure was just two inches. It was two by six. Mm -hmm. This is five, so there's more space that's glued and it just feels just different. I mean, this 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 five by five, now that I've tried it, I can see myself doing this for a day or two like I just did, but not for a week or two because I don't, it's just the pulling. Oh, I cannot wait to take this off and then oil my scalp it just needs some oil you know it just needs a little one to one too so all this to say i'm about to take this off and free my scalp for a second and then we're going to do something we're going to do it we're going to still do a side part on monday we're just going to redo it because i think that is because of the late the wig cap being too small i don't know I'm, i know i have a the circumference of my head is big so i think that that's what it is well although i don't know and this is a really big lace so this could be a middle part there's that so let's do it together where's my alcohol because i just want a reprieve on my hairline where is my <laughs> i happen to have some alcohol right here i i enjoy this side part though i must say it's cute you feel me but because it's hot and i had a side part i didn't think about all these things i kept having to move it off my face you know it's just all these little things i just did not think about but you know i'm getting the hang of it i'm getting the hang of it and then uh, making better hairstyle choices based on what i'm doing because it just needs to make sense you feel what i'm saying so i'm gonna just use a q-tip although 
I don't know what I should do to get this off. And tomorrow too, we have soccer games. I ain't got time to have a five by five out in this heat. The two was not a problem for me. I didn't feel like, oh, this is about to fall off. But the five, I recognize, hold on. It's, it's, it's getting a little dicey, you know? So I think this is how we do it. <laughs> this, that came off easily. This alcohol thing is good. How does that work? Wow. Oh, I like how this really just melted into my skin. Could I do this? Nah. I, and we were thinking about that too. We we're like, what if you did it glueless, but then sewed down? But my thing was, is it gonna shift? Again, I'm, this is all new to me. So I didn't wanna be somewhere in the wild and then my hair is shifting looking real stupid. You feel me? So I don't know. Should I just leave it unglued for today and tomorrow and see what happens? You know what I don't do with stupidity. I don't do my hair looking crazy. That's one thing I do not do. So it just has to be right. That's why I will take my hair out in a heartbeat. I don't think about anything else. If it just is looking, if it's not what I want, if it's not going well, I'm going to just take it out. And it's just going to be what it's going to be. And and it just is what it is. I don't even think twice about it. You feel me? Let me see. Let me lift this up. And then see what happens. Maybe I shouldn't even be using a Q-tip. Should I be using something else? <laughs> I don't want to use this and then it has lint balls on my lace. I don't really know what's happening here. All right, this is my third Q-tip right now. Let me saturate it more. Maybe that's gonna be what I need to really get up on it. And then the other challenge too is doing the makeup and then trying not to get it on the lace, but then inevitably it gets on the lace. So that it's like, oh my God, my lace is looking a little caked up. You feel me? It's only been two days, but still, it's just little things. I like for my hair to look right. I don't like any deviation from right, okay? That's just how I am and that's how I'm always gonna be. So I'm just like, uh-oh, I see the lace looking a little questionable, you feel me? <laughs> All right, cool, it's lifting up. So yeah, the reason why I'm saying that is because I was thinking, oh, I'll just loosen it up and then still keep it on, but just glue this. No, because I, the, the product is there and it looks crazy, so this lace, would need to be washed and then I could try it glueless. You feel me? I think I need to get a towel. Let me use this. Trying to do this delicately is not working. Is this what she did? I don't even know. All of this is so new to me, yo. It's so new to me, son. Son. And I wonder, is, is alcohol harmful to my hair? Meaning rubbing this on my scalp. I mean, rubbing this on my edges in this way. Cause it's touching the edges, obviously. Is that harmful to my hair? Because, I mean, I was, that's not something that I just do. I mean, I have wigs with closures, but I was never gluing it because I didn't know what I was doing. So I, if you are a glue down wearer, is is the alcohol harmful to the hair? I want to say that, the, that it is. Yeah, look at me. I'm getting tongue tied. I want to say that it is, but I don't know. Maybe I should press it, huh? Maybe I should do that. Can we learn new tactics? Okay, I think pressing it is a good idea. Oh, and then I got to cut the thread because she did... She did sew it to help keep it down, which I wanted. Oh, I forgot that there's a cap on this. <laughs> I'm reminded as I'm taking this off. Yeah, there's a wig cap under here. I forgot about Okay, that. so all of this is the glue. Okay. This looks scary just lifting it up like that. That is so funny. Okay. All Roy A. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to wash my hair with the braids in. What? Is that a fruit fly? I'm not doing this with you today. You see, I'm trying to fix my wig. Fruit flies. You have a nerve. I'm going to trim the little needle. Not little needle, but you know. What is that? Oh, that's... No, wait. Why is the comb stuck in there? Let me go like this. All right. We're going to get this off. And then I'm going to... Yep. Trim where she sewed it. Oh. Wait a minute. How did that... Oh. <laughs> it was all one thread. I'm like... How did that come off so easily? It's all one thread. So when I cut it one time, it came off. Cool beans. Oof. I cannot wait till all my scalp. I think she sewed this. She sewed this. Oh, no. It's just oh, let me add some more. Okay, let me do some more alcohol on this because I don't want to pull my hair out. Hello. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to wash all this off. Girl, we're, we're, we're learning this together, okay? We are learning all of this together. I'm going to wash all of this off, obviously, because I want to get this glue off of me. And after I wash my hair, I'm keeping the braids in because we're going to redo. Ooh, that feels good to get into my scalp. And then I'm going to grease my scalp because what? Yo, 
This fruit fly is big. I mean, they have sizes. Fruit flies come in sizes. <laughs> Yo, man. Mm -mm, I'm not dealing with this. Okay, good. Ooh, that just came right off. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, these are some good braids. We're going to keep this in. Let me go ahead and cut this. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I feel good. Mm, 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 mm. You know, there's something to be said about not being able to access your hairline. It's just so different for me. When I do my makeup, it feels so strange to not be able to access my hairline. Like, what? It's like, wait, where is my head? <laughs> Where's my head and what? what is it doing, you know? Ooh, love. And I'm taking my makeup off. I'm about to shower. I just want to be free. Ooh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to co-wash my scalp. Wash with conditioner. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to oil it down. I just want to get it a little fresh. You feel me? I don't see any flakes. I just washed my hair on Tuesday. But, 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 but. Oh, no. I see a little bit of flakes now that I'm doing this. <laughs> I see a little bit. That, that's not even why. I just like to wash my scalp. Hey, some of wash no. Hey, some of wash no. Let me, let me, let me come back. Yo, yo, good morning. Oh, I gotta lift this chair up. <laughs> ah, ooh, not y'all crooked. I'm about to have a meeting and then do my makeup. Let's see. I like to type my notes on my computer versus my iPad, but this is all good in the hood. Oh, we got a lot of people over here. <laughs> it's a party today. Hey. That meeting is done. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Yo, I don't feel like I get enough sleep, man. And I can't be the only one. I want to sit here and do my makeup. Oh, I got to push this chair down. But I feel like I'm going to fall asleep if I sit here. Not to mention, the, there's not enough lighting over there. You see, right here, I have these four lights above me, which helps to make sure my makeup goes on well. When I sit right here, it just don't be... It's annoying. So I'm setting up right now to do my makeup, and you know, I've always told you this, I tear up paper towel pieces. Well, <laughs> they're not pieces of them, but you know me, and I gotta put a little garbage over here, because I be having a lot of garbage when I do makeup. Like, what? And let's see, I put one over here. I get my container of my brushes, and I'm gonna dip in my sponge. I'm gonna soak it, and then squeeze out the water. I already have some already cut. I do all this because I need to clean my hands, clean brushes, just do things as I do makeup. Remember the days where we used to have those palettes you put on the back of your hand to keep your hands clean and then you clean the palette with alcohol? I like to just use my actual hand because the warmth of your hand warms up the product. So my meeting is done and now I'm going to do makeup just to have my makeup done for the day. I want to go to sleep but that's not going to happen and then I have an appointment. <laughs> I don't wash my face in the morning and you know this already. So unless I work out and I have not worked out in some time oh my gosh with travel and stuff I just have not worked out in some time and I'm not happy I mean thankfully I still look I still look good <laughs> but I want to be more toned what is going on so I need to work out and this morning I wanted to I'm pulling the glue out of my lashes this morning I wanted to but getting up was so hard what are you talking about getting up was so hard what are you saying and then there's some days where I'd be like oh I have a little bit of energy in the evening how about I do an evening workout yeah right why would I ever do that why would I ever do that do you work out in the evening time you gotta let me know because I just could never what? oh and then I also get my cinema secrets but with that brush I must have blush clean up blush clean up yo I'm tired hello all right and I have this cup I pour my stuff into because I clean my brushes you feel me before I walk away that's normally what I do that's the real cleanly way to just do your makeup I feel like I've taken some kind of medication I haven't I'm just sleeping so let's soak the beauty sponge. Are we still doing that, ladies? Or are we using our sponge dry? If you're doing your makeup with a dry sponge, let me know. There is a time and a place for it. You're gonna get really full coverage by doing so, but come on. You feel me? Come on. You're gonna get really beautiful coverage if you soak your sponge. I'm doing my hair tomorrow, and I can't wait because I'm tired of this headband, you feel me? I told you I took it out, right? Yeah, you were here. You were here when I took it out, okay. 
And then, oh, my lip primer. Okay, so my, oh, I have so many tins. I need to order MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. I'm so irritated that I don't have time for all. Oh, I gotta go, I don't have time for this. Okay, well, this is what I'm trying to say. Because my lip primer is done and I've been leaving my lip balm or whatever I have on, on and then doing my lippy. And no, when I do a matte lip, that doesn't work. Because then my, my matte lip is not dry. It's satin. And this thing is done. I'm digging. Let me get a slim stick and stick it in here and see what's at the bottom. Oh, I got some product. Oh yes. See? Don't just throw yourself away. You never know what's in there. You never know what's deep, deep inside. <laughs> mm, you gotta go deep inside, okay? I'm gonna get up in now, okay? We don't wanna even waste the product. Nowadays, it's freaking, oh, I, I love this new shade that I got. Okay. Anyway, this is the deepest 47N shade in the this foundation right here. All links are below. You can scan right here if you're watching on the television to go to my LTK. I can't stand when people, yeah, impose their feelings on you. Here's what I mean. If I am tired, irritated, hurt, sad, angry, and I'm in an interaction with someone, it's not now time for me to be transferring those feelings over to that person. So I will either not answer your call, if it's a phone call, or when I do answer your call, I'm gonna cheer up because this is not about me. Unless I wanna make it about me. If I'm not in a position or have the interest at that time to have the conversation about what I'm feeling, then we're gonna just move on. And that is called maturity. But you'll have people, oh, and I can't stand this, who, when they're feeling something like that, let's just put it, let's just say irritation or anger, because sadness is different. Like, if you're sad, come on, like, you know, I, I, have, I have space for that. I get that. But let's just say it's anger. And you're on the phone with them, and they just, their answers are like, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, it was like, whoa, why did you answer this phone call? Why did you answer this phone call? You're proving to me that you are emotionally immature. Why did you answer my phone call if you could not do so in a calm manner? If you could not do so <coughs> in a nice way? If you're angry, don't answer the phone. Because part of it is you haven't even said what is making you angry or let's say you did say what it was because my thing is don't answer the damn phone don't answer the damn phone if you're going to take your anger out on me i don't want anything to do with it i got my own things to worry about that's my one okay call me later or don't answer my call you know and that's fine i'm not gonna wake i'm not gonna stay up all night because you didn't answer my phone call the hell i know you weren't available that's what that's what that's what that means if you don't answer my phone call that means what you're not available and but like let's say it's you ask the person what's wrong and they say what's wrong and, and, and you know, you, I can't solve the issue for you, but we do have the discussion, but you're not able to regulate your system. So then in the conversation, you're still snapping at me and I will literally be like, okay, you know what? Let's talk later. I know that you're, this is not a good time for you. And what I don't like is if the emotionally mature person is like, no, 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 we can talk. No, the hell we can't. No, the hell we can't. Because what? You're not gonna use me to try to regulate your system and then it's not working and you're snapping at me. Absolutely not. I'm not a punching bag. We I'm a, you know what and this is another thing I had to realize too. This is grown woman talk, honey. This is something I had to realize. Can we stop? Uh how about I let what, what, what I used to say this before. How did I used to say it? I used to be like, okay, let's just hang up. No, 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 I wouldn't say that. What did I say? What I'm trying to get at basically is I don't need your agreement to express to you what I'm going to do, okay? Let's just put it that way in a nutshell. And here's what I mean. So instead of me being like, okay, well, do you want me, do you want to let me go? Okay, that's, 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 that's what I'm trying to get at. Do you want to let me go? Okay, do you want to talk later? Instead of me putting it in your court to make the decision of hanging up, no, I'm gonna just say, hey, listen, let's talk later. And that's actually a nice way to say it because I really could be like, hey, listen, I'll call you back or I'll call you tomorrow because you already don't know how to make a decision to say, this is not a good time to talk, so let me hang up and get back to you another day. You already can't even do that. I can't even trust you to do that because you haven't done it and you're pissed off and you're taking it out on me. So I've just, I've stopped the, do you want to talk later? No, I don't even care what you want to do. I'm just going to let you go. I'm going to let you go so you can calm down a little bit and let's talk another time. Because what, and this, I'm not talking about someone being sad. Sadness is different. Sadness is like, whoa. 
you know i get that part i'm my anger it's my anger that then transfers to me on the phone with you when i am trying to talk to you to take your mind off of whatever it is because if you call me and you're angry and we've talked about whatever makes you angry or whatever has made you angry and now we're just trying to have conversation i interpret that as you wanting to get your mind off of what has made you angry okay so we're chit-chatting but then you're bringing down my mood because you can't regulate yourself don't call my phone to regulate do not call my phone to regulate because i'm not going to do it for you i'm not you need to do it yourself when i had to regulate myself i don't call anybody i don't call anybody and yes i get it not everyone is me that's great so don't call my phone <laughs> if you call my phone i'm not gonna answer <laughs> and that's what it is what the hell that is what it is at this age i'm not doing that at this age and stage i'm just not doing that you're not gonna be using this one a punch bag not me venting <laughs> it hasn't happened in a while by the way i just i just thought about that i don't even know how that came to my mind but come and let me know if you know what i'm talking about you got to you gotta know something that that is the tar shape tape the first darker color is 57 s rich sand and then the lighter color is deep golden 53 g <sighs> yeah girl anyway i'm doing my makeup because i like to look and feel good i swear if my makeup could be faster i would love it but i gotta get all the processes i gotta get all the stages faster and then cutting out steps is not gonna work for me it's, a, it's all or nothing, but I won't lie. I've been wishing sometimes that my makeup process was quicker. <laughs> it needs to be the full glam, but it needs to be quicker. That would be great. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Ooh, that would be so good. I laid down my edges and I'm gonna keep this heavy. Actually, no, I'm changing headbands, actually. I thought about that. Yeah, I'm changing headbands. And then these pants that I got from the Janae Naylor Future Collective Collection, wow, tongue twister, a while ago that were too tight for me that time when i bought them i haven't tried them on since then i hope they're not as tight i just wanted them to be a little bit more loose you feel me so i'm gonna try them on today hopefully they work i gotta bring my jeans back to the tailor oh, i need him to make some edits because they were not tight enough on my hips buddy what happened i said leave it a little bit not hips my waist i said i want to go to Oh, wrong, oh, wrong brush. Oh, crap. This is the brush I use for my inner eye. I used it to get my contour. I'm so annoyed. Okay, see, this is why having the brush cleaner is important. We're going to clean this brush off. All right. It's all clean now. And I'm going to let it dry while I take the appropriate brush so that by the time I get to the area where I got to do my inner eye, that will already be dry. Okay. This is the number 14 brush. And we go, oh, let me just dust off a little bit and get right here. I still love to make sure that my, the top of my brow, or the, the front of my brow is really contoured. It's going to look real dark right now, but it's going to all come together once the face is done. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the holiday season and I want to decorate, but I be getting so irritated with clutter. So I don't know how to deal with that. How do you deal with that? And then like, are y'all storing your your decorations from year to year? Well, where are we putting these decorations? I get so grossed out by mold, mildew, just dust, just all that stuff. So, you know, are y'all putting, what's it called? Moisture absorbing bags into your bins that hold your materials from your decorations from year to year. And if so, where are you putting these materials? Are you putting them in the attic? You live in the Northeast, you got a basement. We all putting this stuff, you know? And then how y'all decorate it? I be seeing stuff that I think is so pretty. So fall decorations, for example. And I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. I would love to do that. But the idea of it just turns me off. The idea of having stuff everywhere is a turn off to me. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. I need, I just like light and airy. Ooh, I think this is too much. Hold on. I think I do too much content. Like, I just want there to be a little bit, a touch of decorations. And to me, I've already decorated. I don't want to take all these things out and then go put more. You know what I mean? I just be feeling like, what? What am I going to do with all of this stuff? It'd be nice to have a decorator, though. Can you imagine? <laughs> a decorator is levels. Like, hi. I have a decorator coming to the house to decorate every season. What? <laughs> How much is that? Can you imagine? That'd be great. I already have a cleaning company, so I've already elevated the hell. I don't clean up. I do I do light work, okay? I do light, okay? I'm not doing five hours on a Saturday to come clean this whole house. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. I maintain, okay? And that's it. 
<laughs> Don't you love how I said absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not. I just need to reiterate it. I need to emphasize it. You feel me? Because no, those days are over. Imagine a decorator would be cute. It'd be cute. I don't know. That's that's next level. I would need to figure that out. You feel me? Oh, he watching the Young Thug trial. I was never interested in it until what was it? I kept seeing. I'm not a lawyer, but. <laughs> I love her. I kept seeing her on TikTok and I'm like, dang, what's going on with this Liz Young Dutch y'all? So now I've been into it. Yo, it's terrible how much I'm into it. There are some days where I'm playing it all day. I'm listening to it all day. It's crazy. And I'm like, yo, I need to be reviewing my YouTube videos. Why am I here watching Young Thug Trial? And I'm not sitting down doing it. I'm doing things. I'm multitasking while I'm listening to it. But still, like, what? Yo, how? So then I've been watching the recaps. But some stuff, you just got to catch it live. <laughs> you know? live but you gotta catch it when it actually happens because it was the time where where brian Steele was about to get arrested that i was like hold on no 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 i can't do a recap i need to see what led up to this so then from then i went back to actually watching the whole thing the whole thing is serious it's sad it's it's all the things it's it's crazy it's, and then the young dolph girl so many things going on it's just so scary and so sad all right let's get our under eye creasing set you feel me this is makeup forever micro finishing loose powder yeah. did we talk about women evolve i think we did right we talked about how powerful it was i just started singing so maybe think about that all right press this right squinch your face because you don't want the product to sink into the fine lines if you have them, if you don't, God bless you. God bless you either way. All right. And then we're going to get this in here because we don't want to. Ooh, what is that? Hi, dust. We're not doing that. Hi. We would just want to make sure that the product does not crease. Okay. The eye going to crease, but we don't want the product to crease. Okay. And then I do take some these days and put this mattifying powder above my eyelids because i want all that to be dry even the eyebrow when i do my eyebrows i want to say eyebrow when i do my eyebrow uh oh i did it my eyebrow <laughs> i don't want there to be a slip so when i am drawing it it don't need to be slipping you feel me it needs to be a little bit of a tug so that's why i do that and then you can also take i mean i've done this one or two times just put this around the mouth if you feel like it gets a little oily but we're gonna we're gonna powder up and do all of that so it's gonna be all good in the hood this shape is so good for me i need to pull i have i have videos that have been edited that i need to review that are just holding me up that's a problem oh let's talk about that too there's something to be said about having an editor having the videos edited I don't, is glowish out of stock out of commission is it gone is it stuck, suspended I'm, I'm done i mean i love this so now what there's something to be said about having an editor edit your videos and then you having to set aside the time to review the edit yo we gotta talk about that because if you have an hour two hour 30 minute video that's been edited you feel ooh, praise god that is just so good that gave me my time back to do whatever else but then you gotta set wow i just made a mistake here <laughs> i don't ever take this down that far i'm annoyed too much talking then you guys set time to actually edit or review the video and then send back any revisions before you finalize it and then upload it to youtube and this and this and that so that is the part where I have been bottlenecked is reviewing the already edited videos. Okay. I don't be setting aside the time that I need to review the already edited videos. <laughs> Maybe because I'm too busy watching the Young Dolph. Hey, not Young Dolph, the Young Thug trial. Oh my God, this is serious. So all this to say, I know that I've been slow on my Tuesday, Thursday videos. I'm so annoyed. It's not okay. There is, I mean, there's a, there's a solution to that. And it is me <laughs> managing my time better. I'm so annoyed, okay? I said it. That's the truth. That's what it is. Hi, it's a four collection. Okay, micro smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Make sure you're ready for the Sephora Savings event because you know it's coming up soon. I don't know the dates, but it's every single year, twice a year. Make sure you're ready. Get your, you know what I'm saying? Get your wish list together. Get your restocks. You feel me? All of that. Sign up for the Beauty Insider program. You feel me? And go from there. Ooh, my tummy hurts. <laughs> my tummy hurts.
Okay. Let's finish this face. Boy, you had me from the start. By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the fight Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the fight Boy, you take me on a trip Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round I just wanna get it right But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're going different directions Let's go where we were, when no one gets Right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe So <laughs> it's been hours, mad hours, and I just got Botox in my armpit. That's crazy, son. So I came in, it's a long story. Anyway, I came back to Dr. Sato because uh, of something, anyway, and uh, I got Botox in my armpits. And I'm so excited because, yo, let me show you how to do this, son. And if you don't know, Dr. Sato is who I came to, my surgeon that I came to a year and a half ago to get my tummy tuck and lipo 360 and breast lift. Okay, watch my whole playlist here on YouTube. I explain and show you everything, honey. Everything except the surgery, girl. Keeping a, uh, a whole a whole hundred in that playlist. And I'm okay with that because we got to keep it a buck. You feel me? You got creators out here lying to y'all all the time, which is unfortunate. I don't say that cheeky. I don't say that in a cheeky way. Dang, not the back all trashed. Why is this place a mess? I can't. You got the creators out here lying to y'all on stuff, and I don't do that because I ain't got time. And... Why would I do that? It doesn't benefit me to lie. I like to put the girls on, you feel me? I have my sunglasses on, my low vase, and they are deep, they go deep down, so it's it left a mark under my eyes. I took them off for a second. Anyway, yeah, so I got Botox, and it, it went by so fast. I thought, I didn't know what to expect my first time. Just when she was injecting me, it went by so fast. Anywho, I've been here for a long time, and it's Sato, S-A-T-O, okay? Here in Houston. I've been here for a long time, I'm hungry, I have not eaten and I need to go to Nordstrom Rack and I also need to leave because it's time for carpool so I'm so torn I should go to Nordstrom Rack I'm so hungry I have not eaten am I gonna have enough time okay let's figure this out let me see how far Nordstrom Rack is from me should I open up this it's just it'd be too hot to open up this sunroof but it'll bring so much light in here can you tint your sunroof is that a thing that might not even be a thing I'm so nice Mm -mm. It's too much. I never open this. I never open it. I like to. I like it to be dark in here. I like it to be dim. You feel me? I like a vibe. Nordstrom Rack. I have a campaign with Nordstrom Rack, which I'm grateful for. Ooh, I thought, this, I thought this thing shut off. Which I'm grateful for. I'm wearing my Target bubble thing, bubble shirt thing. Mm -hmm. Yo, I ordered the new Future Collective uh, situation. It's my keloid, by the way, for my breast augmentation. I ordered the new keloid. What? <laughs> What is the new future collective yesterday and some stuff is gonna come in today i love that i love that it be it be coming in real fast okay let's see because oh it's four minutes away praise be they got, they got food over there okay it doesn't make any sense for me to just pass right by do i have enough time to look and walk around Ooh, let's see what's over there okay i'm gonna go in this 
plaza and I hope that they're gonna have something for me to nibble on okay let's go oh I had my coffee from earlier and I was nervous because my pants are light my pants are beige it's the Janine Naylor wrap pant and I was sipping this on the side earlier because I didn't want it to spill on me and I left it in the car yo coffee that been left in the car for a long time is that dangerous and not only that it's hot outside so I feel like it's still gonna be hot my coffee is so hot imagine it's hot from the heat but am I gonna now have a gastrointestinal issue because I left this in the car who knows The way I love my lob, forget it. It's a long bob. Okay, listen, you can't talk to me any kind of way. Not only that, you already know what it is. New week, new hair. Don't even talk about it. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Don't get used to it. Get ready for something different. You know, it's just, we're just trying new things. Like what? We don't want to be, we don't want to be locked down. You feel what I'm saying? We don't want to be locked down to old stuff. It's the new me. Ooh, I can't find it even, I can't even find a light in. We don't even need light in. Do we need light in? Do we need light in? Okay, that means lighting. <laughs> Yo, I love my hair. Hi, how's it going? How are you? <laughs> I love it. I love a good beach wave. I've never done a beach wave. Imagine this beach wave longer. Not this AC being mad loud. Can you hear me? I hope so because we gotta talk. I love this beach wave. Oh, I'm so excited. I love my hair. I, <laughs> my armpits are so sweating is annoying but the botox is supposed to kick in she said in a few weeks so we're gonna see how that's going but i'm excited that i even got it done i feel so good i feel so skinny <laughs> i'm so thick you feel me the thickness is still there it's still gonna be there you feel me but i feel tiny i was looking in the mirror and i was like wow i feel like i have no waist okay if somebody put out an apb on my waist because it is nowhere to be found do you understand me now i am hungry and it's almost one o'clock. Yes, it is one o'clock. Yesterday I ate for the first time at four o'clock. You understand me? And you better believe I was not trying to be on no diet at four o'clock. So I definitely had Jamaican food. I had rice and peas. And I had, is it oxtails in the nest? I still don't even know. Let me slow down. Let me, let me not get pulled over because I was so excited because my new hair. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I had that and I didn't care. I ate so much of it. I was stuffed. When I got home, did I eat again? I didn't even eat again that night. I was so full and there was no space to put anything else. So when I woke up today, I'm feeling hungry. Oh God, look at this. Oh, okay. I was feeling hungry and it went away a little bit, but it's time to eat. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm saying all this because I feel like stopping by and picking out on some some chick-fil-a but not my usual salad my salad is what i'm trying to do good you feel what i'm saying but right now i'm not even interested in doing good i just want to have a damn i've had this twice in the past month and i feel like having the taste of it has ruined me because it's making me want to have it again and again it is the spicy chicken sandwich with the fries i don't eat that okay i don't eat that i love it but i don't eat that okay because it's not healthy <laughs> but i've had it twice in the past month and having it has spoiled me having it has i say me what 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 did i it's just it has spoiled tense and so no it's difficult now to forget about the taste to forget about the taste is a very difficult thing oh you know what i've been having recently is popcorn and jalapenos jackie Ina was right the popcorn and jalapenos there's something about it now you gotta be careful because the jalapeno slice is the mar the uh what's it called the it's the one that pickled mm -hmm. so you gotta be careful so that the pickle doesn't the juice doesn't get on the popcorn although i've had it one time i've had it one time and the pickle juice did drip over to the popcorn and one of the popcorn pieces was soggy i don't like that 
You know what I'm saying? So I had it separate on the plate. You feel what I'm saying? Comment, let me know if you do this. I've never tried it until recently, and I'm like, oh, I get it now. So I, I, I'm gonna just have to have the pickled jalapenos in a little cup. You feel me? And then have the popcorn, and then dip, like, like go back, like, just pick it up separately instead of it being next to it. Cause I don't need the popcorn getting soggy. That's disgusting. That's just gonna ruin the whole thing. And the pickled jalapenos that I had gotten, I don't know the name brand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was very spicy. I was like, wow, this is a very hot, spicy can of uh jalapenos but yeah all this to say first of all why is my is my did my nipple pad shift hold on it didn't shift but it was like you could see my <laughs> pokey pokey and i don't need pokey pokey right now you know we don't need that i don't it's not the time for that it's daytime it's not it's not it's not appetizing it's not my idea it's not appropriate for right now and i felt like it was happening underneath my i turned the ac down because what i thought it was happening underneath my my uh what you call it hey i didn't get friend is saying it's the it's the nipple pads mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're jumping topics right now okay stick with me i thought like it was showing and i don't know how that happened <laughs> but we're not doing that right now so we're actually not doing it ever but we're definitely not doing it now so i had to put it away i like having the quick weave because then i don't have all the pulley pulley you know you have to to emphasize what you're saying you, know? you have to say things twice as yes yes so first it was pokey pokey then now it was the pooly pooly so we're not doing anymore the pooly pooly which is great i love it i love the five by five you know the two by six closure has a place and a time i like that i can see more of my forehead with the five by five so i'm enjoying that and she said that they, they, they do be having four by four but i like the five by five i'm just excited can you tell i'm excited i'm hungry so i'm just talking a lot and maybe once I, once I eat, I might not, I might not want to talk. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to go do a trying haul at the mall, but I ain't got time. I'm hungry, and I need to cook because ordering out is not okay. It's as much as I have, because the food is done, is dumb. We got groceries, so let's just make the food. You feel me? So, anyway, I just had to tell you that your girl is doing something different. Talk to me nice. How's the lace? It's looking good. I think it looks good. Talk to me nice. That's it. Talk nicely. Don't talk at all. Get into the hair and let me know in the comments if you love me changing my hair so much. I love it a lot. I hope that you do too. <laughs> we on a journey, okay? The girls is on a new journey. You feel what I'm saying? It's a new lease on life. It's a new life. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new everything. It's a new me. It's a new all of it. Like who you thought you knew, you don't know her anymore. She's gone. You feel me? We don't even know who that is. Who is that? Who was that? <laughs> 